The third use of super keyword is invoke the super class constructor. It says that how would you call a constructor of your super class? It says that if you are trying to call or invoke the constructor of your child class, it will by default call the default constructor of your parent class. But if you would want to call the parameterized constructor of your parent class, then you need to use a super keyword. That is, if you are trying to call a user defined constructor which matches the parent class parameters constructor, then you need to use a super keyword. So, let us understand how the super keyword is used in order to call the parameterized constructor of your parent class. Where the syntax is, you write the super keyword and in the brackets, you provide the variable or the parameters that match to your parent class constructor. So, we have created a class called person constructor. In that, we have a variable called string name. We are not initializing with any value. We are just creating a variable called name and the type is string. And then we create two constructor for this class where one constructor is with parameters, the other one is without parameters and the without parameter constructor purpose is only to display an output calling that this is a super class constructor. The next constructor that you create is your the same name, the class name. Then in the bracket, you have written a variable type which is of string type and call as name. And this name is your local variable to this constructor which needs to be differentiated from your instance variable. For this purpose, you use a keyword called this. So you write this dot name is equal to name where this dot name refers to your instance variable and this name refers to your local variable. So we have just defined a class with two constructors where one constructor will display an output and the second constructor is a parameterized constructor trying to take a value. Then we have created another class called employee constructor. In this employee constructor, we have created a variable of integer type which is employee ID. And then we have created two constructor again for this class. And the first constructor will call the constructor from its parent class which does not have any value in its parameter. And in order to call or inherit any behavior of its parent class, you need to extend from its parent class. So you write the extends keyword and the parent class name. So now in this empty constructor, you are trying to call the empty constructor of your parent class. And how do you call an empty constructor from your parent class? With the help of super keyword and the open and close brackets, no parameters in it. In the second constructor of this class, you have provided two parameters where the first one is of your string type, the other one is of your integer type. The first one is your employee name, the second one is of your employee ID. So now in this parameterized constructor, what we are trying to do is that we are trying to get the value this name is referring to your parent class and this employee ID we have defined in our this particular child class. So when you are trying to call the name from your parent class, you use the super keyword. Remember the syntax to call a parameterized constructor of your parent class would be the super keyword. Then in the bracket, what is the parameter? That is, this is a string type. And then even in your this parent class parameter, it had a string type, right? So you are getting the name from your parent class and this integer you will get from your main method and this will be stored in this dot eid that is your instance variable. Now you have to print the value that you receive both in your or from your parent class and then instance variable. So the employee name will be fetched from your this parent and this employee id will be fetched from your class level. So in the main method when you create the first constructor that is when you create the instance of this class without any parameters that is this is in your empty constructor. So as soon as you create your object reference, it will invoke the default constructor and this constructor is without any parameter. Therefore, this particular constructor of the child class will be invoked and this child class constructor will then invoke your super class or the parent class constructor.
The next you say that you have created another object reference for your child class with this constructor has two parameters and this is nothing but your parameterized constructor which has the first string name and the second as employee id. So first you provide the name that is your string value and then your employee id and now then this value will be stored in your name and employee id and this name value will be stored in your parent class constructor right and your parent class constructor will receive and then store it in this particular name and then this instance variable is being called and then it will display to your name and employee id and how would you do that by calling this display method you write e dot display so let us execute this program practically to understand how you can invoke a default constructor of your parent class when a child class constructor is invoked or how would you call a parameterized or a user defined constructor of your parent class. In this example we shall see how you can inherit the constructors. Till now we have been seeing in our previous example programs how you can call the variables or the methods from your parent class to your child class but can you call the constructor from your parent class is the main concept of your inheritance so in our example we have created a class called person constructor in that we have declared a variable of a string type and the variable name is name and then we have created a constructor for this class which is a person constructor and this constructor has no parameters it just display a message which is this is superclass constructor so this empty constructor is just to display a message the next constructor for this class we have declared a variable in it that is in its parameter we have declared a string variable and the variable name is name right so in the braces we write this dot name equal to name where this is used to differentiate between the local variable than that of your instance variable so this dot name is your instance variable and equals to name this will be your local variable in our constructor example we have been defining the main method within the class for an example we have been defining our main method itself and then passing the value in the constructors and how do you pass the value in the constructor while you create the object reference for the constructor you would be providing the values at that time but now this is what we have defined in our parent class next we have created a child class called employee constructor and this employee constructor will extend the behavior from its parent constructor which is person constructor with the help of extends keyword so in this class we have created again two constructor one is empty constructor and one is parameterized constructor similarly what we have done in our parent class you can create n number of methods or constructor in your child class irrespective what you have declared in your parent class because your child class can inherit the properties or the behavior of its parent class along with its own unique features as well so here we have created an variable of integer type which is like employee id and in the first constructor which is an empty constructor we are trying to call the empty constructor of its parent so what is the parent for this child class that is person constructor which is this and then it will look for the empty constructor of this particular parent class where is the empty constructor so this one is your empty constructor therefore to call this empty constructor in the empty constructor of your child class you use the super keyword you write super then the empty brackets and semicolon so this is how you call empty constructor of your parent class then if you want to call the parameterized constructor of your parent class along with the certain other features that you want to declare in your child class how would you do that so I create a constructor in that I pass two parameters one is of string type called name the other one is your employee ID where I am saying please get this name 
from our parent class. What is this employee name? It should be from your parent class that is person name constructor and this employee ID you will define in your this class. So how would you do that? You write the super keyword in the bracket you write the variable name which is to be called from your parent class. So I want to call the a constructor. How do you uh, call a constructor of your parent class? With the help of super keyword empty constructor with no parameters but now we are trying to call a constructor with parameter and this constructor with parameter is nothing but your person constructor which holds a variable called name. Can I write certain other details here? What if I write something as EID? Will it accept? No, because it is saying that such constructor does not available in your parent class. If I would have created a constructor called a string name and then int EID and then declared certain then it would have accepted this because when you're trying to call a constructor it will look for its exact parameters the number of parameters the type of parameters and everything as we have not defined this particular constructor in your parent class you cannot define it here so you can only call the constructor which you have already defined in your parent class so I'm trying to call the name from your parent class and then the employee ID I have declared in my child class and then in the display method finally I would want to print the name that I get from my parent class and the employee ID that I have declared in my child class so now in the main method I create an object reference for my child class which is employee constructor e1 equal to new keyword and followed with the constructor name and then empty bracket so this empty bracket will call an empty constructor of employee constructor type so this employee constructor will call employee constructor and this employee constructor will then call the super constructor that is parent class constructor with no parameters next in order to call the constructor with parameters we need to provide the value so we create another object reference equals to new followed by the constructor name and then in the parameters you would want to provide the value or the type of parameters that of a constructor you are holding so our constructor is first holding a string type so you provide the name and then integer so you provide employee id if you make any changes here like if you're trying to provide something else again this will not accept because it says this kind of a constructor is not been defined in your child class okay so this is how you send the value so now once you declare this value monica this will be returned to your parent class constructor and then this method will be called and finally to call your display method of your child class you use the object reference of your that particular child class and then call the display method so let us save this file and execute i click on f11 and as you can see in the console it says this is a super class constructor because in our empty constructor of your parent class you have declared this is a super class constructor so this constructor was called to call your parent class constructor then to call your parameterized constructor where this has been trying to call the name value from your parent class and then the employee id from your class level and then display the value which is monica and employee id is equal to 10 so the main purpose of inheritance is to use or call the constructor of your parent class into your child class